Coaches, do you want to make 10K months, but it doesn't sound possible? I'm going to explain to you how you can actually achieve this step by step. Before I start, let me know if you want to watch the video where I laid out my entire social media ecosystem and I'll send a link to your DM with no email or opt-in required. Just drop me a line in the comments below. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter, brand mentor and a conversion strategist. I help online coaches and entrepreneurs create a flagship offer and plan their launches with evergreen systems and strategies so that they can scale to 10K months without social media burnout. Today, I'm going to share with you the only rule to 10K months and two strategies on how you can actually achieve this. As a coach, consultant, course creator, uh, online service-based business owner, you need to know the average conversion rate of your industry. What is a conversion rate? A conversion rate is the rate of the people that move on to the next step in your sales process. So this could be um, the amount of people that come to your landing page versus the amount of people actually sign up or the amount of people that come to your sales page versus the amount of people that actually buy your offer. So that is what a conversion rate is. And the only rule you need to know when it comes to making 10K months in your business is the 10% rule. Why is this important? Because once you know the conversion rate and once you know the 10% rule, you'll be able to set your goals and quantify the tasks that will help you achieve this goal. So let's reverse engineer this. If we wanna make 10K months, and let's say you have an offer for $1,000. Simple math, you need to have 10 clients, right? You gotta book 10 clients. Now that we know the 10% rate, we know how many sales calls we need to get on. 100 sales calls in order to book 10 clients. So now that we know how many sales calls we need to get on, we need to calculate how many DMs we need to send or how many people we need in our email list or how many people we need signed up to our masterclass so that we can actually book these 100 sales calls and we have the number of 10%. Now you're gonna say 100 sales calls a month, well that's about five calls a day if you have a five day work week and well, if you already have 10 clients, that's 10 sessions a week, 10 hours. The prep added, 20 hours. Um, also, you have all this time that you need to actually spend on generating leads so that you can get on these sales calls, right? That's a lot. And that's the reason why you don't think this is possible because it does not look attainable. The only way we can accomplish this goal is if it's attainable. So that's why there are two strategies that you need to look at. First strategy is aligning your offer with your goal. Obviously, if you have an offer for $200, it's gonna be a lot more difficult for you to reach 10K months first, right? So you gotta make sure your offer is aligned with your goal. Whether this means that you need to position, package your offer and position it differently so that you can price it differently, or it may mean that you can start your goal a little bit smaller so that when you scale, you can actually do the 10K month. Maybe you wanna start with quarterly goal of 10K first, right? The main goal and in my program is to increase each step of the sales process that you have so that at the end of the day, you are a lot more efficient in your efforts of promoting and, and booking clients, right? And that's what brings me to my second strategy, which is lead generation. So your strategies about generating leads need to also be aligned with your goal. Because like we said, if you have $200 offer, then you're gonna need more leads in order to achieve this goal. When I was talking about increasing the conversion rate of each step of your sales process, that your lead generation is solid and aligned with what you have to offer because it's important how you're generating these leads. And think about this, if you're having a hard time finding people to get on a call with, you don't necessarily have a sales issue, you have a lead generation issue. You're not getting the right leads, you're not getting enough leads and you're not getting right leads to get on a sales call with you. So first thing you need to know is how in demand your offer is. 
Second is how you can package this offer in order to make it desirable to your target audience. Third thing is how you're finding these leads. And the fourth thing is how you're attracting these leads. So all of these are a factor that go into increasing this conversion rate that goes into your sales process. It's important to know your numbers so you can analyze this data. And that's another reason why the 10% rule is important because you need some type of data first so that you can analyze and optimize this data. Meaning when you look at your sales or people, how many people are signing up for your offer, if you look at the amount of people that come to your page and if you just try to increase the traffic so that you get more people buy or sign up, that may not be the right strategy because you don't know if you're bringing the right traffic or not. Let me give you an example from one of my clients, Toya. Before we started working together, she was getting 375 uh, people to her sales page per week, okay? There was 375 people looking at her page and only nine of them were buying it. Eight, nine, 10, it was fluctuating in between, but weekly, nine people were buying it. So that makes a, I think 2.4 conversion rate, something like that. I can't remember and I can't do the math right now. But when, after we started working together, within two months, her weekly sales were 112 from the same sales page. And her traffic were only 379. So there was only four more people. But what I mean is we didn't do anything different when it comes to sending more traffic to her page, but we worked on converting more of those people who come to that page, right? We were able to do this by analyzing her numbers. So from nine sales a week, she went up to 112 sales a week. I think that's about 29% something conversion rate, but it's insane. And it's not by sending different traffic or more traffic. It's only by packaging her offer the right way. These are the reasons why knowing the 10% rule is important so that you can start tracking, analyzing, optimizing, and maximizing your conversion. And that's the only way to reach your goal of 10K months. Align your offer with your goal, align your lead generation strategy with your goal. And as long as those two are aligned, you will generate the quality and well-targeted leads that actually convert to clients. Drop me a comment below if you want to watch the video where I laid out my social media ecosystem. I'll just send it to your DM, no email or opt-in required, like I said. Thank you for watching this video.